Hi guys and welcome back. I have a, another Valentine's DIY inspired Dollar Tree decor piece. So without further ado, let's jump into this DIY. So starting off for this Dollar Tree DIY, you want to pick up one of these hearts, one of these heart picks from Dollar Tree and one pack will be enough for the garland. And so I will just be simply painting those black removing the sticks and don't throw the sticks away yet because I did end up using them for something further on on the DIY but I will just be painting them black and I did two coats on these hearts and then once those were finished drying I did go in with the rub and buff and I will link this in the description box below if you guys are interested in purchasing it or where you can purchase it and these this the rub and buff came from Michael's I know you can also find it at Hobby Lobby however a little bit does go a long way in a previous used this on another video and I fell in love with it and so I had to do another DIY using the rub and buff and that's why I decided to do this garland but you just want to paint the hearts gold and let those dry as well and once those were finished drying I did go ahead and use one of those picks that came with the heart to help me poke them through the styrofoam and I also will be using some styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree and these were from Christmas I believe that I had back a while while ago i don't know if dollar tree carries some right now for valentine's i haven't seen any yet at my dollar tree but if you do i know michael's has some and hobby lobby does too but anyways guys back to the diy um i will be using one of those picks from the hearts that i cut off earlier and attaching yarn to the picks and i will just be hot gluing the yarn to the stick and poking it through the styrofoams now when I was doing this, I did have some trouble because it was kind of hard to pull the stick through the styrofoam, the little, the little balls. And so I found the best way to do it is use the giant balls that come in the pack. Not the small ones, the small ones will break and fall apart. So I suggest using the big ones. I ended up just using the big ones because as you can see, they were coming off. It was not really working. So I found best to use the giant styrofoam balls that came in the bag. And when you do poke them through the styrofoam ball, you want to twist, as you can see here, I'm twisting, twist, 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 and don't rush this, I was rushing this guys, so don't rush it, just take your time, and they won't break like they were breaking on me, because I was doing it fast, and for the hearts, try not to poke them through the center try poking them a little bit above the hearts that way when you do go on and hang it the hearts don't come down they stay straight up so when you start poking the yarn through the hearts make sure that the yarn is not going through the center of the hearts make the yarn go a little bit above when doing a garland or else it won't stay in proportion the weight will be too heavy and everything will just be coming down and like I said before, my hearts weren't standing up properly by themselves, so I had to add some weight at the bottom. And for the weight, I did end up just cutting some paper clips and adding two pieces to each heart so that they could stand up by themselves properly, and that helped. That seemed to do the job for me. But other than that, guys, this was an easy DIY and fun, and it was so budget-friendly. Everything you will need for this DIY you can find at Dollar Tree except the rub and buff. I know they already carry paint, they carry yarn, the styrofoam balls, both the hearts and the styrofoam balls I did get at Dollar Tree. I also ended up adding some hot glue to each side of the hearts and the styrofoam balls to keep them in place from rolling around. And that was it for this DIY. And it was so fun to recreate and I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY as much as I did making it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you think about it, what else I could have added to it. I want to hear your ideas, guys. And with that being said, guys, don't forget to subscribe. That way y'all can stay up to date with my videos. But anyways, guys, until next time.